Disclaimer, I am not an expert and this video is my personal opinion. The subject of this review is linked in the description. I highly suggest watching it in full and coming back here once you're done. I encourage you to take notes of your own and compare what you have with what I'm about to say. I made a scoring system to determine how valuable an answer is. 1 is the worst, 2 is bad, 3 is neutral, 4 is good, and 5 is the best. Let's start. On environment, I'd like to know how she would reconcile the interests of the locals and the mining businesses and make their coexistence mutually beneficial. She did mention a lot to take care of the mining issues that we have, and I'd like experts to be actively involved in declaring which lands are suitable to be mining zones. On COVID-19, I like the emphasis on sense of urgency. I also want the details of our short-term and long-term action plans to make the Philippines pandemic-proof. Another thing, I don't think micromanaging is the way to go for COVID responses. We should instead empower and support the people who can do the groundwork for us and have a reliable channel for real-time updates. And of course, I admire her for doing the groundwork herself, but I think it should be strategic and limited. Just do it to be able to come up with a smart action plan and then use her power to execute the said plan. On poverty, I like how rebuilding public trust is a priority. I also like how the emphasis of her solutions is on the source of income rather than ayuda. People will take care of their daily meals no matter what. We still need a budget for Ayuda, but it should be reserved for the most urgent of cases. On OFWs, or Overseas Filipino Workers and Migration, I like the idea of skills training to make our OFWs more competitive internationally. And I'm impressed with what the Migrant Resource Office in Naga is doing. I like its services to expand and be scaled to a national level. On social media and pornography, I need the specifics of how social media platforms will be asked to take accountability through legislation. This is a very sensitive issue. Interests of consumers, platforms, and content creators like myself should be well represented. I was hoping for sex education to be in the picture so people won't look into porn for answers. The Philippines is too conservative and there is a need to confront the stigma around the porn industry. It exists and should be understood. On rape-related abortion, I suggest actively involving pregnant rape victims in the discussion of what their options should be and making said options legal and safe. I would also want to normalize self-defense education for women and rape consequence education for men. On drugs, I think our knowledge of the drug problem in general is severely lacking. I think root cause analysis is a huge part of the solution, and this would mean treating drug users as human beings with extreme circumstances instead of criminals. And instead of restricting the supply, which would empower black markets, I think we should understand why there is a demand for dangerous drugs in the first place and eliminate that demand completely to force the pushers out of business. On Philippine debt, she has a tendency to micromanage, which might limit her field of vision and capabilities. I still say empower experts and provide them support using her power. We need to involve financial experts in national debt management. And we also need to focus on organically generating assets to pay off our debts and take us into the green. On the West Philippine Sea, I like the emphasis on diplomatic efforts and leveraging the favorable arbitrary ruling last 2016 plus entering into alliances to improve our military might. On presidential qualifications, I don't support her decision to leave the constitutional provisions as is. It's more realistic to amend the law than cleanse the political system in my opinion. And we need to put more barriers of entry for evil people in general. Overall, her tendency to micromanage is a recurring opportunity. You acquire great power and resources as president, and you won't be able to maximize it if you get lost in the details. Let the frontliners do the groundwork. You take care of the big picture and provide them the support they need. You cannot micromanage the Philippines, period. We share a lot of ideals, but I'm concerned how she'll respond when faced with realities she's not prepared for. 
I guess this is a courtesy reminder that she doesn't have to do everything herself. She has the Filipino people, though she still has to earn the support of many. I think her biggest challenge as president will be harmonizing groups of people with conflicting interests. And that's it. So overall, Vice President Lenny Robredo got a score of 41. She excels in people problems, which makes sense because she has people skills. I think it's a matter of leveraging this strength when solving problems in the areas that need improvement. I'd like to wrap this up by reminding everyone to continuously challenge their biases. Be a part of the solution by doing your own research, getting educated, and of course, using your voice to communicate what you've found. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it, and let me know what you think in the comments. Also, if you're interested in seeing more content like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you're always updated whenever I upload new content. Thanks for watching, stay safe and healthy, and of course, have a great day.